Greetings. And here we are for the next half an hour or so to be present with our capacity for awareness, to be mindful of what's happening here and now. And the point of this practice that we're doing is not merely to be present here and now, to be present, in the, to be aware, to be mindful of your experience as it's happening is the place where we can discover something very important. We want to be present for this lived experience to discover how the mind, the heart, can be free. And to say it a different way, to discover how this mind, this heart, can be beautiful. One of the themes of this week is the idea of the microcosm, that in the small, subtle details of how we are, we can start learning uh, how to be in a way that can apply in the macrocosm. But we train ourselves in the small details of meditation. And in the small movements, relatively small, maybe it feels big sometimes in meditation, of the mind wandering off in thought, getting lost in thought perhaps sometimes, distracted, uh, that there's an opportunity there, if we can be present, to address that, to meet that in a way where there's freedom. Or more, more to the point today, there can be a sense of beauty in how we're aware of that and how we relate to that. And that beauty has a lot to do with the absence of being critical, judgmental, having any kind of ill will of the, even the mildest form, have any kind of uh, greed for something or uh, insistence or a kind of desire that has uh, a neediness in it or an expectation or an attachment to it, that things are supposed to be a different way, they should be a different way. And the absence of any delusion, and delusion has a lot to do with how we interpret the experience. And to not have those things operating, it's like beautiful clear air, beautiful clean pure water, where the pollution's out of the air or the mud has been settled in the water. And there's a kind of beauty in that. And so you might see as you sit today, how you can uh, experiment in small ways, begin the process of seeing what is your intuition, what is your feeling for, what is your sense of mindfulness itself being beautiful. Mindfulness itself has a quality of absence of attachments, absence of ill will, absence of delusion even. It's this kind of a quiet, silent mind, clear mind that knows what's happening. And it will have some qualities that are related to generosity, to love, to care, not because those are activated, but just that in that openness and that presence, um, that absence of hostility and attachment, there's something really beautiful that exists there. So I'd like to suggest that you try to um, feel your way into, even imagine your way into that little corner of your mind, of your heart, that you might sense there's a little bit hints of beauty. And let that be a reference point for how you work with a distracted mind. 
you're not giving in to it, but you're also you're meeting it with mindfulness, beautiful mindfulness. And that you begin again with your breathing in a way that feels beautiful, feels nice. There's no, you know, waves created in the mind of agitation, no upset. And it just feels beautiful to be in touch with, it feels wonderful to be in touch with this beauty, this, I like the word tenderness, this, this sensitivity, beautiful sensitivity of a mindfulness, of awareness. And of course the mind will wander away. Maybe you can cherish, value, love when you wake up. Wake up to the present moment. And in that present moment, find how to be with it, with happening in a beautiful way. That's very, very simple. Doesn't require a lot of thinking. It's almost like the absence of thinking. And then with that sense of little hint, little piece of beauty, perhaps you can linger there. The mind wants to stay there. The mind finds its home in its own beauty. So to begin by feeling, sensing, your whole body, feeling, sensing the global experience of body, in whatever way the body reveals sensations of any kind how they flow, they pulse, they come and go, they glow, vibrate. Any ways in which they're comfortable or uncomfortable. Perhaps taking a few long, slow, deep breaths right in the middle of all that. Relaxing as you exhale. Perhaps as you exhale, calming the mind. Maybe even a little bit quieting your thinking. Maybe there's a way to quiet and change your thinking so it moves towards being beautiful thinking. Thinking about the meditation and your breathing, your body here, appreciative thinking. And then with whatever degree of beauty you can imagine or feel or sense with awareness, with the mind, let there be a beautiful awareness of breathing. And if there's no beauty in your awareness, if there's harshness or discouragement, take the risk to assume that you can be aware of that in a beautiful way. 
that you can be aware of your difficulties with a degree of calmness, of ease. of clarity, and whenever your mind wanders off in thought and you recognize that, maybe that's when the meditation begins. That's where you have the opportunity to experiment with Discovering how to be, have a beautiful, caring attention to how things are. It's all nature. It's all the natural world unfolding within you. Can you experiment and discover how to be alive and present and aware. So the awareness of things has a quality of beauty, ease, openness,
discovering the beauty of the mind is not really a trying, if trying is doing and straining. It's more like a not trying, letting go of the doing and trying, trying to get something or in the way that if you wanted to see the beauty of the natural world, you would step outside of your house. And maybe look at a tree. Or pull the curtains. It's a beauty discovered by undoing, relaxing, allowing. The beauty of the mind is there in the mind. And perhaps you can have a small hint of it at least in the corner of the mind. There's a way of being mindful, of being aware. That can be greatly appreciated, a source of appreciation, just aware.
then as we come to the end of the meditation, to once again see if you can intuit, imagine, feel, see with the mind's eye some quality of beauty, some quality of the mind that's a treasure, a valuable, a way in which the inner life is a treasure. And from this beauty that's possible within, to now to gaze upon the world with that beauty, to gaze upon the world of people kindly, So the gaze is kind, the gaze is beautiful. And to consider this world of, with many suffering people, with many people who are alarmed and scared and angry hurt in deep ways, to look upon all of it with a certain kind of beauty that allows kindness and compassion, care, that doesn't sacrifice the beauty and the care for our concern. And then to come out of the meditation now with the wish, with the orientation that you will live this day in some way or other with a kind regard for all beings, with a wish that somehow in small or big ways that you might live in a way that betters this world, that supports, cares for, some other people, maybe even one, maybe even that one is yourself. And maybe all it is, is to smile with someone, to appreciate someone. May it be that coming out of this meditation, that the meditation supports us to create a better world for all beings. May all beings be happy.